Good morning. Howdy, folks. Karen and I are up here at Pilot Mountain, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning. First, I want to thank God for his many blessings. I want to thank God for our horses, all of our critters that he's blessed us with. I want to thank him for our home. Thank him for our transportation, for him blessing us financially. I want to thank God how he has helped us and been so good to us. There's a lot of people that would give anything to be riding a horse. And we're just for fortunate that God loaned us these horses. They're not ours, they're just on loan. Because someday we may not have them. And, but it, we have all these memories that we can take with us. Memories are so important. And we need to be thankful for the people that we that have helped us through the years and been there for us when nobody else would. I'm not calling any names today because today is Sunday. Today is this is the Lord's Day. God give us a chance to come out here and to ride and enjoy. And there, there's a turkey feather. When we come up here to Pilot Mountain, we see uh, wild turkeys. We see rattlesnakes. We see uh, bear. We see uh, black panthers. Rabbits, raccoons, squirrels. Uh, a lot of people don't see this, but they're up here. And our horses have seen them. Because they let us know by their ears and the way they their neck comes up. And they point it out to us. This is a beautiful place. And we're so blessed here in North Carolina to have this facility. Pilot Mountain is one of the, the nicest, nicest parks I have ever ridden on in my life. And I just, I'm so grateful that we have this park. And that we live in North Carolina. It's a great state. I'm going to have to take the lead here. This, my old mare is going to have to outshow the kid back here. Come on, come on, old boy. Bring, bring your mama on up here. Isn't he a beautiful pal of me? I'll tell you what, that's a beautiful horse right there. We're so blessed to have these horses. But anyway, if you don't take time to thank God for all his many blessings every day, when something happens in your life that is catastrophic, a tragedy, or a death, it's too late to cry out to him then. Because you know it's it's going to happen, and that's the thing that we have to realize is that we need to thank God every day for His many blessings, because it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to it belongs to Him. This is His earth. But anyway, I thank God for honey, for jingles. Thank God for my family, my son, my daughter-in-law, Branson, Caleb. Thank God for uh, Karen's 
family and her sons and all of her grandchildren and nieces, nephews. Now I'll tell you something, I like old Brian. Brian is cool. Uh, he, he's so funny. But he's just a good guy. I mean, he's just a, he, he's just a really good guy. And uh, so take time to take your family on a, a little camping trip or a little picnic or something like that. Just go out and let the kids run around and have fun. Because, see, I'm 60 years old. I've already been there and done that. This ain't my first rodeo, folks. I can tell you more things that I've been through and seen than Carter's got liver pills. You young, you young whippersnappers, you you have just begun. You got a lot to learn. You think you know it now? You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, but you'll go through it, and you'll make it. But what you got to remember is, is there's gonna be some. Pretty tough mountains and some pretty tough valleys. But anyway, I love my wife. I love this old horse. Man, I love this horse. And I love Jingles. Now he's pokey right now, but I'm gonna tell you what, when when we get ready to go back to the trailer, he's a different he's a different animal. He knows where home is. And, uh, may God bless you. May you have a wonderful day today. Take time for your wife. Take time for your children. Take time to do something with each other. Because you're not promised tomorrow. I got to go. Happy trails until we meet again. This is Cowboy Eddie, heading deeper into the woods of Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. So long. And if we need you, by the way, we'll call you. Don't call us.